All right, boys and girls, this is Mr. Dresch again, um, and we are going to be looking through day three, kind of wrapping up some of the radical work we've been looking at and some of the solving equations work we've been doing. Uh, first day, we talked about uh, simplifying radicals. The second day, we talked about multiplying radicals. And then this last day uh, is going to be talking about adding radicals. So usually by the end of day three, uh, People are usually feeling pretty good about most things, but then I can see some things happening of you kind of mix up your rules with multiplying and adding radicals. So don't be surprised by the time you get done with here today that you do a couple of mistakes by kind of combining your rules for multiplying and adding. But usually, I've done this for a long time, uh, after you get a little bit more practice with things, you're pretty much good to go, okay? So let's first off talk about, before we can add things together, think about like variables. Um, you can only add variables, sorry, not just variables, but like terms together if they have maybe the same variable. Uh, so it's the same idea with radicals. Can we determine if these radicals are considered to be like? So let's look at example one right here. All we're doing right now is a yes or a no. Are the following radicals like radicals? So one root three and five root three. What would you think, yes or no? These are like radicals. And the reason why they are like radicals is root three and root three. The number out front is what we call the coefficient, okay? I don't care if that is the same or not. What I'm looking for is after the coefficient, one root three and, and uh, or sorry, root three and root three if those are the same. Example two, do you think these are like radicals? Yes or no? Yes. Square root of 18, square root of 18, the coefficients of negative 1 and 2, they are different. Who cares? But both of them are root 18. Example 3, root 7 and root 5, these are a no, okay? Root 7 and root 5 are definitely not the same, so these are not like radicals, okay? Usually by this point, things are looking pretty good, so let's look at example 4. 5 root 12 and 2 root 27, yes or no? And most people go ahead and say no. And then there's always a few people that say, nope, you're wrong, and that would be correct. These are actually like radicals. Now, do they look like it? No. But this brings back in our very first day of simplifying radicals. So before we go ahead and simplify these, or sorry, before we determine if these are like, we need to simplify them. So what I want to do then is, off to the side, take 5 root 12 and simplify it down like we've been doing since, again, couple days ago. Get your factor tree going, get your prime factorization going for 12. So 12 is 2, 2, and a 3. Pairs make perfect squares. So I simplify 5 root 12 down into 10 root 3. Now let's compare that to 2 root 27. Prime factorization 27. Okay. Pairs make perfect squares. 6 root 3. Same question. Are these two considered to be now like? And then usually, most people realize, oh, okay, now I have to, for, whoops, I made a mistake. This should not be a 2 there. That should be a 6 root 3. So anyway, now that those are both root 3s, those are considered to be like radicals. So before you just do a knee-jerk reaction saying no, see if those are likes. Now that I've thrown that out there, let's keep this in mind. Okay, number five, doesn't appear to be, but let's go ahead and simplify them down. Now let's think about 100. 100 is a perfect square. What's the square of 100? 10. And what's five times 10? Those look ugly. Five times 10 is 50. Now 50, that's not perfect, so let's do our prime factorization of 50. Okay, 50, take it off to the side, do your prime factorization there. And eventually we get 2, 5, and 5. Pairs make perfect squares. And we get 5 times 2, which is 10 root 2. Are those like terms then? Definitely not. Okay, the 50 does not have a root 2, so those are not considered to be like terms. Example six, five root 49, square root 49, that is perfect. Five times seven is 35. 
16 is perfect. Square root of 16 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So are 35 and 8 like terms? Yes. Okay. 35 and 8, those are constants. Those are like terms. There is no radical left over. It's like saying a square root of 1, and the square root of 1 is still 1. And what's 1 times 35 and 1 times 8? Still 35 and 8.